Hi, if you've ever wanted to quickly launch a macro, the easiest way to do it by far is to assign a custom icon to launch it for you. So the first thing you need to do is install the macro, and then you open up CorelDRAW, press Control J to open up the options dialog, and then you would want to go to Workspace, Customization, Commands. Over here you drop this down and choose Macros. Now the one we'll be installing today is a new product called Randomization Tron, I believe. So I'm just going to click on the little um, binoculars there, and then I'm going to choose Random. It's found one macro with random in it. I'm going to find the next one. There it is. So now what I could do is drag and drop it to any toolbar. I have one specifically for macros, but it's quite full as you can see. So I'm going to drag and drop it up to this one over there. It's actually gone over to the next row, and I could use it as it is if I was to press OK, but I want to launch it using a, a custom icon, and I want to get rid of this text eventually here. So to do that, I'm going to go over to the Appearance tab, and instead of this price tag type icon there, I'm going to press Import, Files, and there I can see my new icon. Alright, so there's my icon. So if I go to my workspace with my mouse, you can see that it'll update over there. I have a white background behind it. If you ever want to get rid of that, you can left click on one of these transparent icons, and then left click inside there, and it'll knock it out for you. See what happened there? Okay, so the next thing you need to do, make sure you do is press the OK button, otherwise it won't save the work you've done there. So now that it's in my workspace, uh, and if I wanted to get rid of the text, I could right click on it, choose Customize, Menu Item, and then choose Image Only. There we go. So now it's in my workspace as just a simple icon. So when I press it, the macro will launch.